Hi, we're Foresight Bio, and we're a drug discovery company at UCLA developing better mechanical medicine. We're seeking to develop better treatments for what we call mechanical diseases, any disease where the tissue and the cells inside your body squeeze too hard or sometimes don't squeeze enough, leading to the disease. An asthma attack is a great example where airway tissue squeezes too hard. That narrows the airway, and it makes it difficult to breathe. So a similar kind of event, a mechanical event, can occur across all the different tissues in your body, leading to a host of other disease areas uh, that can impact health. And we believe that we can develop better therapeutics for these conditions by directly measuring how cells exert mechanical force and then testing many drugs to see which drugs can control that process. This is a very logical approach to the problem, but one that's been hampered by lack of technology. Previously, it was impossible to measure contraction of cells in a way that enables drug discovery. This is a problem we solved with technology developed at UCLA. We can now measure how much force individual human cells exert in an automated and controlled way that allows us to test drugs. We did this by giving cells this adhesive marker, which they adhere to, and then they squeeze. And you can see that through squeezing, they make this shape smaller, and we can quantify exactly how much force is applied. So we do this now in a very standard formats for drug discovery, such that we can assay hundreds of thousands of human cells that contract at a time per experiment and screen at least 10,000 drugs per day to find drugs that could impact contraction and become medicines. And here's an example of an image acquired from one of these screening campaigns. We know this method works because we've taken drugs already in use by patients for mechanical diseases and tested them in our system, showing that they have the same kind of effect. So our goal is to build a world's leading company treating mechanical disease. We've built already a really great team, including full -times, four full-times in the lab and a leadership team, including UCLA co-founders, as well as veterans from drug discovery, in medicinal chemistry, and in business development. We're growing our patent portfolio and we've licensed issued claims to this technology from UCLA. We're focused on a number of different areas, including lung fibrosis, where unfortunately cases are expected to increase as a result of COVID infection. Overall, as a company, we believe that we can generate early stage drug candidates across many different mechanical disease areas, and each one could potentially be a home run for the company. We've accomplished a lot with little. We've raised two and a half million of non dilutive grant capital. And with this funding, we have built a strong team, we've licensed the, uh, the IP, and we've built really robust operational scientific processes in the lab. We're a fully functional company. In fact, we've got early stage promising drug assets that we want to now test in animal models. So we're raising $3 million as our first dilutive capital raise. And with this money, we'll advance our first program into studies showing that if these drugs that we discovered have the desired effect in the animal, uh, then we will be in prime position to raise our next round or to partner with a pharma. By virtue of the speed of the screening enabled this technology, we're looking not in one program, but already in two and subsequently many more. Ultimately, we believe we can generate many different assets across many uh, diverse mechanical disease areas partner with many pharmas and generate uh, continued returns for investors and value for patients. I'd be happy to talk more. Please reach out. Um, my contact information is shown here. Thank you for your attention. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Giovanni Acosta, co-founder of Gradient Orthodontics. We are currently looking for additional investors and I'm excited to tell you about our company and products today. Our company is working to fix dental malocclusion, which is the misalignment of teeth. We're specifically focused on solving the biggest limitation of orthodontic clear aligners, which is that the plastics currently utilized lose about 80% of their initial force in the first two hours of application. This results in a lack of teeth movement and deviations from the treatment plan design. Moreover, the 3D models utilized as malls for each one of these aligners take significant cost and time to 3D print, becoming disposable waste immediately after and containing toxic chemicals for the environment. Our solution involves two products. The first one is an advanced thermoplastic sheet with enhanced force retention, resulting from the combination of thermoplastic materials with unique mechanical properties. Our current prototypes hold 60% of their initial force during the first two hours of application. Our second solution involves the direct 3D printing of the clear aligners by working on the synthesis of 3D printable bioinks. 
This approach completely eliminates the cost, time, and environmental toll of the 3D printed models currently used today, while also having enhanced force retention representing a killer innovation in the clear aligners field. Our product will be sold directly to clear aligner manufacturers and dental laboratories as raw material for the aligners fabrication. We will also provide a bundle including printers and bioings to orthodontics who want complete autonomy of their business. Dental malocclusion affects 60% of the global population and in the United States, 15% of these cases are treated with clear aligners. This market is expected to grow to $4.5 billion in 2024, representing a big growth opportunity for our company and our investors. Our team is composed of highly trained scientists and clinicians. Our CEO, Dr. Benjamin Wu, is the chair of advanced prosthodontics in the UCLA School of Dentistry. And Dr. Ken Ting is the past chair of the section of orthodontics also at the UCLA School of Dentistry. Both have co-founded multiple startups and serve in the scientific advisory board of several companies. I am the chief scientific officer of the company and my expertise is on the 3D printing of photocutable formulations and medical devices. We currently have a working prototype of our advanced thermoplastic sheet and expect to begin sales early next year while working on a prototype for the 3D printed aligner. Our strategic investors have invested in medical and dental technologies such as dental offices, implant companies, large dental labs, and large clear aligner companies. We're currently raising $1.1 million to build a mass scale manufacturing plant and create a bundle system for orthodontists. The field of clear aligners have massive growth ahead, and we're confident that our technologies will advance the use and efficiency of clear aligners around the globe. Thank you. I'm Dr. Stephanie Canali, the co-founder of Lactation Lab, which is the only U.S. company testing breast milk. Nutrition during the first 1,000 days of life is critical for infant development. It's a time of vulnerability and presents an opportunity to positively impact lifelong health. Breast milk is recommended as a sole source of nutrition for the first six months of age. Due to the health benefits and healthcare savings, breastfeeding is at a 100 year high. Yet despite these facts, the individual nutritional composition of a mother's milk remains a black box. Over half of women report stopping breastfeeding early because they think their milk isn't good enough. The inability to breastfeed can lead to shame, anxiety, and depression. And this is something that I know all too well. Lactation Lab was born from my 15 years of clinical experience as a family doctor at UCLA, having treated thousands of moms and babies, and my personal experience as a mother who struggled with breastfeeding. My daughter was diagnosed with failure to thrive. This meant I was failing to feed her adequately, yet no tools existed to help me solve the problem. I don't want any other mother to feel the way that I did. I'm on a mission to give women the services and information that not only I wish I had, but that I need it. How it works is the mom collects a sample in the comfort of her own home, freezes it and sends it into our lab at UCLA. We analyze it and she receives the personalized dietary and lifestyle recommendations she needs to optimize her milk and replenish her stores. Breastfeeding is also a huge business. In the last two years alone, sales of breast pumps have increased over 600%. We've formed strong partnerships, have ecstatic customers and patents pending, but we have an even bigger vision of how we're gonna support moms and babies. We just launched our telehealth services and our companion app named Emily to support women through their journey from preconception counseling, through pregnancy, lactation, and returning to work. We are building the first most comprehensive database of maternal nutrition, lifestyle, and milk analyses, positioning ourselves for key plays in diagnostics and therapeutics. Our team is poised for growth. We've created a patient-centered holistic approach to maternal and child health, focusing on breastfeeding as our core connection. If our vision of empowering women with the data and information they need to help be the best selves and help their children thrive excites you, we'd love to talk.
Hi, my name is Courtney Young, and I'm a co-founder and the CEO of Myogene Bio, a startup dedicated to developing cutting-edge therapies for muscle disease, starting with a gene editing therapy for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The founding team consists of myself, Dr. Melissa Spencer, and Dr. April Pyle. Together, we did the initial development of our gene editing approach during my PhD and postdoc in their labs at UCLA. They bring important expertise in muscular dystrophy and stem cells. I've been inspired to work on muscle disease by my cousin Christopher, who was diagnosed with Duchenne about 12 years ago. Our initial approach is for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, which is a devastating muscle wasting disease caused by mutations that prevent dystrophin protein production. Boys with Duchenne typically become wheelchair bound in their early teens and often die in their 20s or 30s. There's currently no cure and only limited approved treatments. We have developed a therapy called Myodis 4555 that uses AEV delivery of CRISPR-Cas9 to delete DMD exons 45 to 55. This would restore the reading frame and allow for dystrophin to be produced. This approach is applicable to about half of all Duchenne patients and is expected to significantly improve disease progression because this deletion is associated with a very mild disease course in humans. This is an example of some of our mouse data where we've treated a humanized mouse model with AEV myodis and checked for dystrophin in green. After treatment, we see restored dystrophin protein in muscles. Duchenne is a rare disease. There's about 30,000 to 50,000 total patients in the US and Europe. And as I mentioned, our approach would be applicable to half of them. The overall market has been estimated to reach $5 billion. Some of the potential benefits of our approach include the fact that it will permanently edit the DNA, that it treats more patients than a single exon target, and creates a potentially better dystrophin protein. Additionally, we retain more of the protein than gene replacement approaches that generate many in microdystrophins limited by the carrying capacity of AAB. Additionally, we maintain the endogenous gene promoter and regulatory sequences. Initial work was done through our academic research at UCLA, and we've almost finalized our exclusive license agreement. We're now located in the Magnify incubator space, which makes it easy to collaborate and sponsor research with our collaborators back at UCLA. We are conducting preclinical and safety studies with the aim to begin human trials and then commercialization. We will potentially be acquired or partner with larger biopharma, otherwise we'll grow Myogene to encompass those roles. So far, we've been funded through three active grants and friends and family investment. We're currently raising a Series A round with Chardon to raise funds that will be used to complete our preclinical studies and expand the team with the aim to get to an IND filing by the end of 2022. Thank you, and here's my contact information. Hi, my name is Martina, and thank you so much to CNSI Magnify for providing this terrific opportunity to present Sardona Therapeutics today. We are developing small molecules to target RNA regulators to overcome therapy resistance in cancer. I've co-founded Sardona Therapeutics together with Mike Chung, a distinguished professor of chemistry at UCLA, and Bill Lowry, also a professor at UCLA. We're a small, passionate and driven team of experienced biotech professionals and have an outstanding scientific advisory board. Together, we are tackling the challenge of cancer relapse where cancer cells often evade chemotherapy due to enhanced DNA repair and efflux. And they also overcome targeted therapies due to target alteration. The solution to this is to target RNA regulators and in particular, RNA binding proteins. By doing so, we can suppress a multitude of oncogenic driver genes simultaneously. We have developed a proprietary high throughput screening platform technology to target these RNA binding proteins and have applied it to the LAT7 microRNAs regulation in cancer. In this system, RNA binding proteins are significantly overexpressed due to MYC expression and they decrease the pre lat 7 microRNAs and increase translation of a whole panel of oncogenic driver genes, thus promoting cancer growth. We've used our proprietary platform technology to identify inhibitors of RNA binding protein and identified LN1632, which specifically suppresses a very important RNA binding protein in MYC driven cancers, thereby decreasing a whole panel of these oncogenic driver genes. 
In our proof of concept studies, LN 1632 significantly decreases the MIC hallmark gene signature, has significant improved potency compared to standard of care chemotherapy, and prolongs animal survival in vivo. We have now gone on and performed a SAR study in collaboration with Mike Jung and have identified novel composition of matter compounds which are significantly more potent and for which we have now a provisional patent application. It's very clear that targeting RNA binding proteins has very high application in therapy resistant MIC driven cancers, particularly castration resistant prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, as well as triple negative breast cancers, all of these which have a very large market potential. We're currently advancing our lead program, the RVP inhibitor program, into a clinical candidate selection phase and anticipate to enter IND enabling studies within the next 30 months. We're further advancing our platform technology and apply it to other RNA binding proteins, which are well validated. It's very clear that Sardona Therapeutics platform technology offer us a very significant competitive advantage. Um, and this will allow us to potently target RNA binding proteins. In summary, we have identified a novel small molecule compound that target RNA binding protein. We have patented IP, a very large market potential, and are currently seeking company management support and investment to move our novel therapeutic approach to the clinic. And with this, I would also like to thank UCLA Technology Development Group Innovation Fund, which significantly supported this project. Thank you so much, and I look forward to hearing back from you.